just one of those things. And he's the kind of guy who will answer you nothing. So he probably watching, you know. Yeah, he, right. He want to come on. Yo, show. shouts out to Kyrie, man. He had a he he put us on his story. Yeah, shout out to Kyrie for that. Yeah, that was cool. He put us on. It was a long series of yeah. check, along with Alex Jones. Yeah. And all I, I peeped that shit, Kyrie. You yeah. threw us in there with all that shit. Okay. Yeah. Don't listen. If they show they show up on TV saying, This is the guy yeah. who Kyrie is following. Two yeah. black guys. I can't believe this. And then next you know, we on fucking T T M Z and shit. You know, so yeah. just kinda we appreciate it though. We appreciate because I, I know you watch and yeah, I dope. appreciate uh, you know, the overall support because you have my uh, unlimited support. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And everything you do. Yeah, you know what is so funny? It's just like now um, with like uh, Kyrie and Aaron Rodgers, the sports analysts, like the sports world, sports media, they want them to fail so bad. And the only reason they want them to fail is because they didn't take the jab. Yes. Which yes. is so... It's like they 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 just so mad that they had to t- that they took it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. They mad that they defied the odds, stood on their principles, and said, "No, this shit is a game you're playing. Yeah. I appreciate the game. It pays me well, but I'm thinking about my life after the game. I'm thinking beyond the game. I'm thinking about my grandchildren. I'm thinking about my damn uh, nervous system. I'm thinking about all of these things because again." The CDC, after all of that shit went down, just came out and said sorry. Yeah, they didn't. They 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 don't have to give you no drawn out explanation. They just said, hey, yeah, you lost your job. You didn't get a chance to bury your aunt. Uh, you know, all of these things happen, and we're, we're sorry. Did you see? Um, uh, uh, it was a clip of Bill Gates, and he said that he was talking to Trump as they're trying to like speed up the vaccine like uh, manufacturing process. And I, apparently Trump wanted to get research on, like, the effects of it. And he said, no, 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 don't do that. He said, like, that'll be a dead end. Like, don't even do that. Like, just. Yeah. And then he convinced Trump to just kind of, like. Bypass push, that Bypass process. that and, and push ahead. And as a result, what do we have now? Right? Yeah. Cause and effect. That's just, that's the way of the world. And now they're starting to see the effect. They said, they, uh, the embalmers. Mm-hmm. Around the country, uh, the ones who are doing the, the funeral, yeah. they said they're pulling out long strands yeah. of clots. You know, now. And people they have never seen before. Yeah, now what's happening to uh, life insurance policies as well, they're seeing, obviously, they, they have numbers as well. So they're seeing yes. a spike in deaths between like 18 to 40. Yes. Like a 40% increase or something like that to that effect. So it's, you know, soon there's going to be like policies against, like, ah, uh, you got. You got it. We can't I can show you or something. It's you know going to be the reverse of what they told you was going to be. Yeah. Remember, they made it seem like if you didn't have it, you was ostracized. Because right now, they're reversing it. In now. New York City, what it seems like is kind of like they're ramping it back up. Yes. They, ramping, they just fired 800 teachers. 850 teachers and aides in the New York City public school system who didn't, who failed to get the vaccine. Uh, but prior to the September 8th deadline, September 5th mm-hmm. deadline, one of the two. And again, it, it seems like because now um, at Noble's Daycare, they said like, oh, parents are getting sick, kids are getting sick. And, you know, it feels like they, they kind of like ramping it back up. But again. they unless they're ramping it up for this uh, midterm election situation to create more fear. But, the Democrats will do anything that they have to do. But didn't Biden just say that the pandemic was over? He said today, or well, he said on CBS, yeah. that the pandemic is over. Yeah. Which one is it? You see what I'm saying? Is the pandemic over? But he said we still have, then he tried to double talk it, but we still having a problem with this COVID. Make up your mind. So you saying, now it's, it's, it's like having the flu. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we still having a problem with yeah. it. It's it's all bullshit. Yeah, I was asking. I was like, how many how long are people staying out of work for it now? And they got it. Yeah, 50 70 percent increase in these clots, man. Coach Wayne, in people's bodies, man, and, and people now people have a second chance <clears throat> to almost make a first impression. They're going, whoa, whoa, no, yeah. definitely no. Now after the CDC them yeah. told me, now you want me to go against and get, and get the new booster that we get didn't the test, new booster that we didn't, that we test, didn't test on test. humans. We only tested on rats. Yeah, yeah. This is this is way out of control. But I want you brothers and sisters to just pay attention for the next forty five days in particular as we come into 
the end of the Jason era in November. Oh yeah. Pay Yo. attention. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way I couldn't find it. Hey, what's job. up? If you like what you just saw and you want to see the full, uncut, raw, uncensored podcast, hit the link below. It's only five dollars a month or fifty dollars for the entire year. Get all of the content. Get Black Diet in his rawest form. Get a bunch of exclusive content yes. never before seen by anybody else, and you can only be a member to see it. Become a member now. Click the link below.